good morning and welcome to the show, my friends. We are quite excited to welcome our first guest back into the New Day studio. She's a Seattle author known for her memoir, Shrill, which then turned into a show on Hulu. And now she's entering the world of live comedy with two shows coming up at the Neptune. Ladies and gentlemen, Lindy West. Hello. Welcome back to the show. Thank you so much for having me. This is really exciting. Let's talk about your new comedy show. It's called Every Castle Ranked. What is this all about? Uh, okay, well, originally I wanted to pitch this as a book um, and do it literally. I was like, maybe I can trick my publisher into sending me around the world and paying for a year-long vacation. And yeah. then I was like, no one would ever do that. Oh. So then I had to make it into a metaphor um, <laughs> and make it into a joke. And so it's essentially, but it is true to the premise. I'm okay. doing a slideshow of all the best and the worst castles. I love this. Yeah, I mean, because who's not into castles? Who is not? Um, it's like a magic house. Where it's a magic a, house. There might be a moat. Absolutely. It's there definitely to, haunted. It's definitely haunted. There has to be a moat, there has to be a ghost. Otherwise, I mean, you'll find out in the rankings, Ooh. just tanking to the bottom mm, of the list yeah, if I, there's I, no moat. Yeah, I feel moat. that, I feel that. Um, but yeah, I, I, I have written books and I've made a TV show and um, it just felt like I was kind of restless and I wanted to do a new thing. And also, um, rent in Seattle is really expensive. <laughs> <laughs> so I was like, what can I do? What no. can I do? Well, I think it's really cool that you're going to the world of live comedy. Thanks. Have you ever been in front of large audiences like that before? Is it nerve? I, I would, I, I would freak out a little. I mean, I, I've done it a lot actually. I mean, you know, in just in book touring and mm -hmm. I've done a lot of press and media and I used to host The Moth in Seattle. I don't know if you've ever been to that. It's a live storytelling show. Yeah. And actually that's part of what made me want to do this show is I started thinking about like, when did I really feel at my best? And there were just moments on stage at The Moth where I felt like, the truest version of myself yes. and I was like why do I not do live performance mm -hmm. am I squandering some part of my potential which is actually what the show ended up being about once I started writing it right. um, you know thinking about castles as a metaphor for like your dreams as a mm -hmm. child and then what you actually turn into and what life actually is like which is not magical yep. most of the time what um, and so it became this sort of interesting exercise in like fulfilling its own question you know yeah there is, it's kind of like a drug making people laugh, isn't it? Oh, absolutely. It's so amazing. A drug, it's a coping mechanism. Yeah. I mean, it's, I, I don't have any other coping mechanisms um, except for like candy, I guess. Uh, but uh, it's really, nothing means more to me than making people laugh. It's such a, a beautiful way to interact with people. Yeah. You know, you, you don't usually know how you make someone feel mm -hmm. exactly and a laugh is such a clear indicator yes. of, of whether someone likes you it or whether they're such an <laughs> approval instantly exactly. you're like yes exactly so like if you're like an insecurity monster like me it's like oh my god give it to me <laughs> <laughs> It's, it's true, it's true. And you actually, you're a performer's daughter. Your yes. dad, Paul West, was a beloved Seattle jazz and lounge pianist uh, from the 50s through the 80s. It's true. What impact did he have on you? I mean, I it, it, that's also in the show. It's like I grew up with this really dazzling performer dad. I mean, he's pretty swanky. Check that picture out. Can you believe? I know. Dude. Um, that's, I think uh, he was hosting a beauty pageant at the Seattle Center. <laughs> uh, I'm not sure the exact year, but that's what I was told. Um, yeah, he was, and, and I'll, there might be people watching this right now who remember him. Like, I still run into people around town who are like, oh my God, you're Paul West's daughter. And um, the impact was really a lot of pressure. Yeah, yeah <laughs> Which I, where I was always like, and this is, I think, part of my whole um, pathology, <laughs> where <laughs> I grew up being like, I felt this pressure to be a performer. Like you had to be. Which drove me away from it, where I, because I also was really shy, and I was always a little bit like, mm -hmm. I don't want people to look at me, but I also want attention, and I do want people to laugh at me. So, um, you know, I, I always felt like I could never live up to my dad, and I still, no one can. He was really incredible, right. but um, it but was like inspiring and daunting. Daunting. Yes. I get that. I, I totally <laughs> believe me more than you know. I totally understand that. So, what led to your memoir, Shrill, 
And how did it become a TV show on Hulu? I mean, that's huge. Congrats, by thank the way. Thank you. I know. It's like a miracle that that even happened. No, it's, um, it's awesome. Well, thank you. I don't mean that in a self-deprecating way. It's right. just like now that I work in TV and everyone I know works in TV, no one ever gets to actually make their that's show. True. <laughs> it's like yeah, amazing. That is true. Maybe it's um, a little miracle. And, uh, you know, so uh, the, the book came about, I was working at The Stranger mm -hmm. um, for years and years, and I was re uh, an agent reached out to me. Uh, from New York, who's still my agent today, and he was like, you should write a book, and I was like, absolutely not. <laughs> <laughs> Again, don't want anyone to pay attention to me, no thank you. And then uh, he was like, well, I really think you should. And then he was very patient, he waited five years for me to finally get it together and write a proposal, and then uh, I wrote Shrill, essentially because I had a yeah deadline and they had already paid me and I had to you, you know like <laughs> that's how I work yeah. and um, and then it ended up being this of course really beautiful thing in my life that changed everything about my life and um, and then it was optioned and we got to make the show I, I don't even know I mean and and the reason we got to make the show is because A.D. Bryant had read the book and mm -hmm. she signed on to play the main character in the show and that's what really gets a show made is when you have a magic star right sign on. <laughs> absolutely and that's and we're so glad that she did because it's, it's so good it's Thank so you. good um, when people come to see your show what do you hope they take away from it uh, well the show is a lot like everything else that I make, where mm -hmm. I um, I always think of it as like when you have to give your dog a pill, so you hide it in a <laughs> like a ball of peanut butter and meat. So the show is a ball of peanut butter and meat, oh, yes, <laughs> which is comedy and <laughs> jokes. And then inside, there's um, hopefully some like really meaningful, touching insights about life and growing up and and being a person and figuring out who you are. One thousand percent. I am so glad that you decided to step out of the crowd and stand in front of it. Thank you. Because this you is so going to be great. Thank All you. right, before I let you go, we were talking about castles. Yeah. And there is one castle that I feel is, is kind of the most iconic of mm -hmm. castles. I mean, it houses those who are very brave. Um, but there's also a lot of damsels in distress there, which is kind of an issue I have with it. But I want to get your take on this. I'm so curious. Historic castle. May we see the picture? There it is. <sighs> it's such a great question. So <laughs> I, I don't understand. This is the Disneyland this castle, is, I right? think it's Sleeping Beauties or Cinderella's Castle. It's one of their castles. Yeah. So this is in the show, except that I don't. It is in the show? It is in the show. Oh. Um, but only, I mean, I don't even say anything meaningful about it because I don't. Is this a ride? Like, can you go inside of it? So, okay, have you never been? I've been to Disneyland. But you've never walked, okay, so and the I castle. And I was always like, what is the point of you this? You can walk in like the antechambers, is that what they're called? Uh, yes, yes, the foyer. Through the buttresses, <laughs> just spit. Um, but yes, you walk through the castle to get to, you go from main to, to Fantasyland, I think. See, Not fantasy. yeah, Fantasyland's behind it. Anyway. That's a ripoff. It, uh, I feel like that's why I don't, I have negative feelings about it. As a kid, yeah. I went to Disneyland, I'm sure I was like, oh my God, there's a castle. Let me go castle. in that castle. Let me go into the t the turret yes. and meet the wizard. Right. And then they're like, no, it's just a set. Basically. It's just, it's basically, it's not well, even a set. You can go walk on a set. It's you just could. a big building. I always, you know what? I'm with you because I felt that way too. Apparently, though, you can, there is an apartment or something in there what? that you can stay in. I could be just totally lying to you right I now. Libby but I think West can so. stay in? I don't Anyone know. I don't know the rules <laughs> of the Disney right. secret Illuminati. Right. But, How? you know. Well, Hulu that made my show Shrill is now owned by Disney. So maybe I can like. Oh yeah, get on in there. Probably not. Get on in there. Okay, we we're gonna canceled, dig deeper. So. We're gonna find out. I'm gonna ask <laughs> tough questions to get back to you. Okay, great. Meantime, just a reminder, you can see Lindy's show, Every Castle Ranked. It um, actually, no you can't. It is sold out at the Neptune. Wow, that is amazing. But tickets are still left for the show on the 13th. So get them while you can. Get it now. Do it now. Make it happen.